we are back with Take Two Talks with more Take Two participants. So really quick, if I could have each of you introduce yourselves. <laughs> Carla Jimenez. Hi, I'm Ezekiel Rodriguez. All right, and now how are you two both associated with Take Two? I am the proud parent of this lovely student next to me who participated in the camp. I am, uh, this is probably gonna be my second year going back for take awesome. two, so I can't wait, and it was just fun overall. Awesome, now first question is, how did you find out about Take Two Creative Camp? Because when you entered, we were going into our third year, and we just increased the amount of kids that we could have. So we were just hoping, and you know, we were kind of a very small program for the first two years. How did you find out about Take Two Creative Camp? I think I learned about it through social media. Okay. Um, if I remember correctly, it was I saw the videos, I saw the work that was being done. Um, I think it was the way that you were promoting the program for them that summer. And so that's how I found out about it. And I think afterwards, I just like finding out, okay, who is in charge? And my son needs to be in there. <laughs> <laughs> Now, Zeke, what did you expect going into Take Two? So here's your mom like, hey, we're signing you up for this summer program. What do you think? Or were you like excited about it or a little unsure? What was your realistic like as the days were approaching? What were you thinking? At first, I was kind of a little excited to go there, but at the same time, a little nervous because I had been going to another camp mm -hmm. okay. previously. Okay. And so leaving that camp it was a little interesting for me because i had so i made so many friends there but then going to this camp i saw a good chunk of friends that i knew and it was just fun overall once of getting to know a few other kids good good now i want both perspectives as a parent and as a student participant what was uh what were like your expectations going into it did you have any expectations at first or what did you, after seeing the, the videos that you saw, and that, like what were, did you expect to get out of this program? As a parent, I think I just wanted to expose him to something different, mm -hmm. see if this caught his attention. I see him, you know, with technology, uh, interested in, you know, filming, taking pictures. I thought, okay, maybe this, just a little, you know, just to get you exposed to it. He was nervous at the beginning, like he said, but um, he was willing to give it a try. And I'm glad he did. He really loved it. <laughs> I, 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 I am very glad that you did too, Z. Hey, buddy. I see the little one. <laughs> <She> sneaking in. <laughs> so, Zeke, what did you expect to get out of it? Like, what was like, if there's one thing that you wanted to get out of it, what would have that been? My expectations for this yeah. camp were more of like, okay, so we're going to be doing a lot of Tech, using a lot of technology and doing so many projects but later on it's like okay so we're not doing that many it's more just focusing on what we want to do and just taking the time to prepare it and then at the end really making it look good right now what was your favorite part of take two zeke it doesn't necessarily need to be like a project or anything it could have just been hey some of the other uh participants said you know just meeting new kids different ages from different schools but what would you say was your favorite part overall? Uh, probably the field trips. Those were fun. Okay, which which was your favorite field trips? I'd have to say either going to Aurora Outlet Mall or <laughs> the Raging Waves. <laughs> I know a lot of the kids like going to the Aurora because that was like our first time really out of the building. And I always joke about Take Two. I'm like, I know we're in a basement. Okay, I'm like, we have, we don't really see outside a lot. I understand. <laughs> so we're constantly trying to think of ways to get you guys out without necessarily like spending money or not necessarily being about media, but actually acknowledging that it is still your summer. We still want you guys to have fun. We want you to enjoy it. So I'm glad that we provided field trips for you that it was like enjoyable. And like I said, not necessarily with an agenda, like, oh, we had to go film, like when we went to the schools, it was just hey, we're just going to hang out today and just enjoy the summer. You guys do what you want to do. Now, I'll go back. Now, what would you say was your favorite project that we did? And it doesn't need favorite to be your project. project, like a project that you were involved in necessarily. Just any project. Is there any that kind of sticks out of your mind 
that maybe you were impressed with like someone, one of your peers and you're like, wow, that was really cool what they did. Anything at all? I have to say the one that Colby and Chloe made. <laughs> <They're> oh, the-, <laughs> the life with the Johnsons. It was, yeah, that was, a fun, that was a good show. Yeah, and you were the cameraman behind some of the episodes, correct? You were holding the camera for some of their episodes, yeah. if I remember correctly. Now, do you like being behind the camera more in front of the camera, or do you like them both the same? What do you think? I kind of like being behind the camera. It's, oh. <laughs> it's fun, and then getting to sometimes doing the editing. Right. Now, when I, um, because we- say that. He would say that. Enjoy back and- say that again, I'm sorry? I said, he did say that always. He's like, I enjoy the, the, the behind the scenes. Yeah, yeah. because I, personally, I like both, but I loved being able to be behind the scenes, especially organizing and editing it. Because I'm like, you can kind of, you know, kind of like clay, right? Mold it into how, whatever way that you want to do it. And you're the editors. No one can tell you really no, or like you're wrong. It's just whatever you see in your head, that's your vision. And that's your vision and no one can take it away from you. So you did a good job with editing because I know you did, um, Inception's editing too. So you did, guys did a good job and using a professional program, like it wasn't easy. I was very, I didn't learn that program till college. So for you guys to just kind of get your feet wet, it was, it's really cool to see. And you like, when it clicks in your head, cause I would see you, I would see Ingrid. I'm like, they're getting it. They're getting it. I'm like, they know what they're doing. And it was very, very <laughs> good to see. <laughs> now for you, Carla, you attended the red carpet event at the end of the summer, correct? You were there. Is there anything that stands yeah. out in your mm-hmm. mind as now a parent now? I'm sure that Zeke would tell you like throughout the summer what we were doing and kind of like, oh, this is what's the updates. But after seeing, cause um, all the projects, all the kids, was there anything that stands out in your mind, a project or just an overall vibe or feeling from that red carpet that you could take away from take two? Mm-hmm. I think it was what, the one thing that I took from that was the space that Take Two provided for these students to really highlight their skills and their creativity. Being able to be themselves, being able, you know, they know what, how to sing, like still do that in a way that they're learning. Uh, if they know how to play an instrument, if they know how to draw, if they know, if they feel more comfortable with you know like him being able to support that work and highlight that work i mean i thought that was so amazing it's like you were able to tell the strengths of every student and then work upon those so i felt that was really really good and that really that that event just summarized it and then the bond that they form with each other i mean these are kids coming from all over you know different schools different grades different ages and them getting along and being able to form those relationships and then putting it all together for this event they're so proud of it yes yeah I, it's like they, 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 they have a lot of ownership in this so. a- absolutely and I, I don't know if Zeke remembers I was very stressed that last day the day of the red carpet event because I was still editing <laughs> videos because something didn't work last minute so I was in the staff room editing and I kind of dictated roles for everyone and everyone I'm like okay who wants to you know present the movie section who wants to present the music section and I'm just like okay you guys go do that I'll be over here and like it was it's nice to (laughs) kind of trust them and see them step up to the plate like none of them were intimidated they worked very well together so that's always great to see especially because there is a broad range of ages like a seventh grader has definitely a different mentality than a sophomore in high school. Yet they somehow were able to just, they know the common goal and what they needed to achieve. And you guys rocked it. Like I, I'm very proud of that red carpet event. I was very, very proud of it because I know that I was so stressed out myself that I'm like, I don't know if this is going to come together. And you guys really kind of backed me up and you guys kind of helped me ease all my stress. And I, I ended up enjoying it. So I hope you guys did too, because it was really fun. Can't wait for the next one, however it is, but we'll hopefully get something done. (laughs) Now, Zeke, another question I have for you is, 
do you think that you learned any skills that you were able to carry with you beyond take two? So anything that you learned um, that maybe working with others or just being more responsible that you can notice that you can use in school and even maybe potentially a career? Because I know you want to be an editor. I don't know if you still want to do that, but I know you told me that last summer. But are there any skills that you learned that you took away from take two and you can use it in different areas of your life? skills that I had taken was leadership, being able to actually help out others, see what they are interested in, go from there, and also being able to work well with others, like you said, just knowing what to do around them and being able to form those bonds. Yeah, absolutely. And you did a good job. I will say, I'm very impressed with the inception because you, you guys really, that was probably one of the projects I had like the littlest parts in. Like you guys kind of talk to me with some parts, but then you guys would go like, okay, we're going to go rehearse. I'm like, okay, <laughs> I'm like go rehearse. It wasn't <laughs> necessarily me being like, this is rehearsal time. You guys need to rehearse. It was more like, all right, this is free time, but I strongly encourage you guys to rehearse what we're going to, what you're doing. And you guys stepped up to the plate. So that, like I said, that was very cool. Now I want to know, how did you come up with the idea to one, make a movie and two, to make Inception? Like, where did that idea come from? <laughs> I mean, it was when we first visited that Studio 27, right? At the library. 270, yeah. So, yeah, and yeah. we went there and we just started talking, thinking of the dark lights and every, uh, like, the little mood that it gave us. And then that's when the kind of came to our mind, thinking, like, oh, let's do this. And then later on, we started forming the idea and then started writing the script. And then it was just fun after that. <laughs> Now, Carlo, were you impressed with the finished product of Inception and knowing that he edited probably about 90% of that movie on his own? I gave him tips and then they kind of took it. What was your, um, what was your opinion on Inception? <laughs> well, I don't, I don't remember it, but I do like, I, I remember him saying, you know, I've been editing this and, you know, working on this. And so just the, the thought of him being able to do all of this, I'm like, you know how to do this? Like, <laughs> wow, this is really good work, you know, because I do some of the video work for, where I work at and we don't have any kind of professional software. So lately I've been like, you know, when I'm pulling my hair trying to edit a video, I'm like, what kind of software do you use? What, what, what have you used? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, wait that's good software. Like, you know what you're doing. So I, I'm very proud that he has really found this interested, this interest of his. That he probably didn't even know that he right. had before this. Not until it was, you know, actual hands-on. Yes. And like, like you said, you just, you just, the camp just lets him run with it. So mm -hmm. they're able to like discover on their own and for him to have this skill i'm like that's really good and then the ability of him being able to work with others that really shows and so we're trying to you know we have conversations and i'm like wow you you like to do this and he also says you know he's expressed that he wants to teach mm -hmm. so i'm like you can combine it like it's a great look at miss carissa like <laughs> she's what she likes and so definitely like if this is you what you want like it's helping shape his future too right yeah and absolutely to go uh, to piggyback on what you said yeah with the teaching teaching media was never and this is just me talking to you directly Zeke I'm like teaching ma media was never like in my l l train of thought for a long time until probably about four years ago like I knew I won I always made movies when I started in middle school when I was in I think sixth seventh grade I got my first video camera and that's what I asked for my grandpa. And I just filmed everybody and everyone got like, we didn't have cell phones. So you can imagine me walking literally with a camcorder in school. And my teacher saying like, don't put your phone away, put your Carissa, put your camcorder away. I'm like, okay. And it's this big, you know, heavy duty thing and I'm putting it away. But yeah, definitely just exploring and being able to teach. Cause I, I enjoy it. So if it's a, if it's an itch, I think you just kind of owe it to yourself to just try it to just see where it goes. And if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out, but it's not the end of the world. And at least you can say you tried. That's always my thing is just to kind of go for it. And if, if it doesn't work out the way you planned, that's okay. Totally cool. Yeah. 
Now, for both of you, as uh, so, Zeke, why do you think others should join Take Two? And then, Carla, why do you think that some parents it might be a good idea for them to send their kids to Take Two? Why should you join Take Two? Uh, it's just fun overall. That's how I can express it in one word. It's fun. You learn new things. You can express yourself in any way that you know. So, like, let's say, like my mom said, you know how to draw, you know how to dance, you know how to sing, even just baking. If you're good at baking, you can do that. You could just film yourself and then edit that. So, overall, it's just fun. And I highly encourage it because. It's a positive way where kids can be busy in the summer in a way that, like he said, in a way that they'll have fun, they'll continue doing what they want. They don't even know probably that they're learning and not just learning how to edit or how to film or how to take photography, but they're learning all these other skills, team building, leadership skills, how to speak in public, how to express themselves, how to manage, time manage, so it's a lot of skills that they're, they're learning without them even knowing. And it's in a fun, exciting environment. And so thank you for having this and continuing offering this every summer. Oh, absolutely. It's my pleasure. Like, I look forward to it. Like, soon as you guys go away, I have a week where I'm just kind of like, man, like, it's done. Like, you have no <laughs> where I'm kind of bummed. Like, I'm excited, but I'm just kind of bummed. And then I'm just like, I miss you guys. You have no idea. Like I'm, I drive the bus picking up kids and I pass Larson Middle School and I'm like, oh, some of them are there. And I'm just like, hey guys. And I keep, keep on driving along. So that, oh, that's great. So um, I do want to talk about one more thing. Because Zeke, you're actually one of the students that uh, we ask you to volunteer sometimes and film some of our events. Now I want to kind of just quickly touch base on that because one of the things we, especially this past year, is that we don't want you to lose the skills that you learned. We want you to keep practicing them. And we know that opportunities might not, there might not be a lot of them sometimes. So every time something comes up, I'm always like, oh, can I get a take two team? Can we get some kids? Now, what, um, how would you think that going and filming, what did you film? Did you film the annual auction? You were there and the STEM expo you filmed exactly. What did you think about those experiences? Do they just kind of help you more grow your skills? Does it help you kind of remind you or remind you of how well what you learned in Take Two? Do you know what I mean? Just what can you just touch base on how did you feel about continuing practicing the skills that you learned in the summer? The events that I filmed, I feel like they were just fun. It was reminding myself what I can do with a camera, just a camera, being able to just record mm -hmm. kids and <laughs> Just even just seeing them, seeing my friends while you're at it too, it's like, okay, yeah. so you can still have fun even during the school year. You can still do what you love and then you still see kids who you don't see anymore. Right. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, he, never, he never complained ever. <laughs> when I was like, oh, Miss Carissa reached right. out and he's like, what? Why? Well, where? And then, you know, like, right away, it's like, yeah, she, you know, there's this event coming up. Okay. You know, I'm like, I'll either, we'll make it happen. <laughs> no, that's so great. Yeah, because Miss Julia started it and then, like, she didn't know the, you know, the floodgates that she opened. I'm like, oh, wow, we could get take two kids. Really, really? Like, after the first event. So I'm like, every event here on out, I will ask who, like, because that's definitely kind of an aspect that I want to um, kind of grow as take two goes on is maybe having a volunteer sign up for people who want, who are interested in whatever that field is. So like at the MLK prayer breakfast, oh, Carl, you saw Lauren and Carla saying at that mm -hmm. while well, we had some kids photographing at the same time. So it's definitely something that we're like, we want to give you guys more opportunities just to practice and potentially put on your resumes and just get more um, exposure. So I'm really happy that you guys, like you guys always nail it. You knock it out of the park. Like you and Ingrid filming, like I used your footage. I don't know if you saw the video. I used your footage and I use it for um, promotional materials for the Y. So your name is on there. I credit you guys all the time. So it doesn't go unnoticed. But okay, so last thing is just, is there anything else that you want people to know about Take Two? I always ended with, if someone was, if I was to say, Take Two is, and then blank, how would you finish that sentence? Great. Take two is awesome. <laughs> Good answer, man. <laughs>
<laughs> well, don't hang up because I'm going to talk to you a little bit more. But that's it for Take Two Talks. So thank you, Carla. Thank you, Ezekiel. It was so great seeing you guys again and talking. And I can't wait to work with you more. Right? 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 Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you again. Thank you.